happy Friday everyone. Today we're going to be doing a paint with me style video. So please bring out your painting supplies, your drawing supplies, or any art projects you're working on and let's create together. I won't be talking for too long in this video so I'll probably put on some lo-fi inspired music so you can just relax, create, and we can just do this together. But I did wanna come on real quick to explain what you're seeing me do today. So it's not the first time that I'm using gouache. I've actually used jelly gouache in the past, but it is the first time that I'm using a professional style or professional quality gouache paint. And this is different than acrylic gouache. I'm using just regular artist gouache. So whereas acrylic gouache is an acrylic based paint that dries permanent, this is a true gouache that is reworkable, re-wettable. It is water soluble. I am using a set of 18 5 milliliter tubes from Holbein. It is, again, their artist line gouache paints. This set of 18 cost me about $50 to $60. I forget exactly how much. So I wanted to give this a go, and I thought that I'd try it out with a nice garden greenery scape. So that's what you see me painting here today. I definitely see places where I didn't do as well as I like to, places of improvement. But this is my first time really getting serious about gouache paints and I wanted to be a little bit more loose with it and not have a character design to distract me from using the paint as it's almost intended to really just layer on and experiment with. So that's what you'll be seeing me use here today. Also peep the new palette that I got. Thank you to Sugar House Ceramic Co because y'all make such really cute palettes and I was so excited to get my hand on their standard palette. It is a matte finish. It has a speckled, almost like Dalmatian looking paint coating on it. And it is really great. I thought this was a good palette to get, especially for using gouache. It has little pans that you can definitely work with more wet or also just separate different paints out. And then it has this larger working area that you can really mix paints. And I got a whole lot of use of it today. Also, I use white knicker poster color paint. I do have white gouache paint in the set, but I know white tends to go pretty quickly. So I just use this poster color. It's kind of like gouache, but a little bit cheaper i think just a bit more thin but it was a perfect white paint to just make everything a little bit brighter or even more opaque so yes thank you all so much for watching and i hope you're getting your creating on i'll see you all in the next video bye bye Thank you.